Hey, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Sensor. I'm playing with a new toy today from my uh, good friends at Kugo Effects. Uh, they sent me a new pedal today. It's called a Looper pedal. It's about this big. It's about the size of maybe two guitar picks. Uh, it's incredible the, uh, the size of these effects now. Um, as you can see this thing. Anyway, I started up a little loop here and uh, I'm going to try to overdub some stuff, see if I can work it, Let's see if we can do a little looping.
the looper pedal. This is like one of the first or second times I'm ever using it, so eh, bear with me. I'm going to get a little better at it. Um, apparently the, uh, the instructions weren't exactly right. Uh, I had trouble deleting my loop. I just couldn't get rid of it. It says to delete, hold foot switch while recording. But uh, I went back to some old notes I had from an old, old looper pedal that I wrote down. And that one said to delete loop, uh, press and hold foot switch. No, no. To stop and delete the loop, double tap and hold foot switch. So I use that instead of Kugo's instructions. So I get let them know that's a, they got one mistake in their instructions there. But, uh, yeah, looper pedal. When the blues comes calling with his calling, calling. And so funny when you rub it down. Ain't no pleasure when that girl don't reply to your love sick letter. That you hold and you tears And you feel so bad For a million years Watch out brother Be in love Whatever you do Don't show that hurt Don't show that hurt today a little bit more about the new Stetson stuff uh, while I play with my pedals and everything here. You know these guys, right? They're in the back of the Stetson Fall catalog. Uh, you guys can access this if you just go to Hatco's site. Hatco's the people who own Stetson. They also own Dobbs, Resistol, Charlie One Horse, a whole bunch of really major lines of uh, I guess they pretty much bought them out and saved all those companies from, you know, bankruptcy back in the days when hats were very slow and they did a great thing and uh, really elevated these lines up to, you know, where they, where they belong to be. Uh, you know, that legendary status, the quality is fantastic. So I want to get back into some of these uh, new hats. Um, the Pikes Peak is the one. That's the one I'm most excited about. It's a flat brim open crown hat. It comes in an olive, just like super beautiful, 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 gorgeous felt. I mean, it's so beautiful it makes you stutter when you describe it. Um, it has kind of a subtle velvety finish, almost like just like plain felt, but very expensive looking, slightly velvety. And the ribbon is the same color, it's like a tone on tone, which gives it even a classier look and there's no creases. Everything about it looks really clean and it's big and clean and solid and smooth looking. It's just one of the most elegant, smoothest flat brim hats I've ever seen. Uh, the one on top of it is really neat too, the gauge. Um, looks a lot like a straw we just got in called the Mojave which is not Stetson, but it's gorgeous. So flat brims right now are just so hard to keep in stock because they're like the, the trendiest, most popular thing. There is all the young people want to wear it and all the older guys that are, you know, like me, like 40, 50, 60, that want to look young and cool, we wear them too. You know? But it's a, it's a big thing now and Stetson just never really had enough to keep people satisfied. Basically our number one custom job was always flat brim hats. We're constantly making these six, seven hundred dollar, eight hundred dollar customs with flat brims because people can't get them. 
Um, one thing you can do is have somebody modify your brim, which is a way cheaper, you know, modification than having a complete custom. Then you could have like a rancher or any kind of hat with a curled up brim just flattened. As long as it's a western felt and a hard, thick felt, it'll just flatten out like a champ. You just have to have our, uh, our hat maker, hat blocker do it for you. It's not something I could just do with steam has to actually be remanufactured flat with a flat, you know, hat block, a flat flange. Um, this hat is very exciting. It's a very big brim. The Batterson. It's vegan sweatband, wool felt. Okay, so that's interesting. The Seeker collection. That one I thought might be really good for ladies and stuff. Um, let's talk a little bit more about some of these, uh, the newer hats that are kind of exciting and stuff. Um, okay, the Tri-City, Sage, Cornhill, and Caribou. Okay, we've got some new colors now. All right. Well, this has been our biggest flat brim hat pretty much ever. Um, I'm going to say definitely. Uh, so far, we sell it in silver belly with kind of a rust orange color band. Same color binding on the edge there, too. We sell it in black with a, um, actually black with a forest green band, which I own myself. And there's some new colors too. There's a sage green. There's a cornhill, which is kind of a light beige color. Cornhill is like a, I don't know, a natural oatmeal kind of a color. It's not listed here. And that color there on the left is chocolate. It's a deep chocolate brown with kind of a tan band. That's a new color. Uh, other new colors here listed are caribou gray, which, okay, that we have. The caribou we've probably sold out of now, but it's gray with a burgundy band, also a big seller. Um, new colors, sage green and cornhill. Okay, those are the new ones. That's a three and three quarter inch brim. It's by far the most, you know, popular uh, flat brim hat we've ever sold. We sell them to young, to old, to ladies, to men, to short, to tall, it doesn't matter. Anybody who wants that look, um, they just put it on, it looks fantastic. It's a gorgeous ladies hat in the, in the silver belly. Um, and it's just a fantastic hat for somebody who wants a little different look. They don't want the cowboy look, they don't want the detective look or something like that. They just want something different, fashionable, that looks modern. Gives them tons of protection and will last them a lifetime. It's a good, good hat. It's a Stetson. Uh, you know, it's a fur felt western. It's not considered a western in the sense that it's measured with X's. They don't do X's on this felt, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's just good, you know, fur felt. But, um, yeah, it's not in their western collection officially. It's more like this fashionable sort of crossover, flat brim thing that's happening now, but hey, it is cool. Let's talk about some other hats here. Okay. These are incredibly popular. Now, the, the Gun Club collection is also maybe our most popular hat um, with Western felt that we sell other than the Open Road. The Open Road has been just a phenomenon for the last, like, five years. The Dune is a flat brim, not flat, it's got a downturned uh, brim, like an Outback, a very subtle downturn, like Safari. Um, it's like an Outback hat. It doesn't flip up on the side, so it's a Western with a low crown, a low crown and a teardrop. Doesn't look like a cowpokes hat, just a touch of wet. It's almost like something you'd wear with one of those duster coats. It's like a total duster look, you know, you've got that long brown coat and that cool flat kind of outback you look, it's like that. It's real badass and if you do it in black, it looks gorgeous with an overcoat. Um, it's nondescript, it's not cowboy, it's not Australian, it's not a dress hat, it's right in the middle, it's solid as a rock. Uh, it's like a 4X or a 6X kind of a quality, I forgot what they call that. Yeah, I don't even think they give those X's, you know. I don't know if they have X's on those. No X's. But it is great for rain, for snow. You know, just keep it cool. Don't get like a foot of snow on it. And, uh, you know, shake it off and hang it up away from heat. Hang it up. Don't put it flat when it's wet. 
hang it or invert it upside down and that's it the Cetera is the same thing as the Dune but it doesn't have the more polished Western package it has a more rugged sort of a safari outback package what they do is they put a more rugged finish they give it a safari color kind of a beige uh, the texture is less smooth it's a little more rugged the edge instead of having that very thin binding here a little ribbon and a little thin ribbon band there they give it kind of a rugged leather band just like a plain you know rugged leather thick leather brown bands and a raw edge so it's like a little rougher version of the dune the dune looks like western the satara looks more outback or safari but they're almost exactly the same shape the same quality the same same hat this one has a ribbon band a thin ribbon band like a strata liner and a thin binding on the edge this one has a raw edge and a western leather band a little rougher texture almost the same hat um, we don't really carry the satara anymore the dune just outsells it by like 20 to 1 so we don't bother um, i highly suggest the dune uh, the Royal Flush is another hat we get in every single year without question. We never skip this hat. We generally get it in black and we get it in silver belly. Um, it's a gambler. So those of you who want a classic, classic gambler hat, that's it. Um, it has the flat sort of gambler pork pie top. It's actually a telescopic crown. It's got a concho band with like silver oval not actual silver, I don't know what they call that, nickel silver, whatever, chrome, stainless steel. It's got a black leather band with uh, oval conchos on it and a pencil curl like a real gambler. It's got that thick hard pencil curl edge. Um, I've sold these to Dickie Betts uh, from the Allman Brothers, uh, Frank Hannon from Tesla has one, a whole bunch of rock stars. Uh, I can't even think of some of them, but it's a common hat to wear for a kind of like a, I don't know, it's almost like a southern rock kind of a look. And it's almost like a southern gentleman look too. Um, gamblers, some gamblers that are very famous will be uh, that uh, Wild Wild West movie. I remember they did a remake with Will Smith. He had a, a black gambler on. It's like a Clint Eastwood hat, kind of a flat top, almost slightly sombrero uh, influenced. Uh, Another very famous gambler is a Mississippi-style gambler, which generally doesn't have a concho band. It has a uh, more of a ribbon band, a dress band, and a flat top instead of a telescopic top, a flat, flat, like a top hat. That's called a Mississippi gambler, or a southern gambler. That's um, Rhett Butler from uh, Gone with the Wind. He wore that hat, so another famous gambler. Um, fantastic hat. I really suggest it. I have this customer who is... Uh, wore this with a black overcoat in the city. It was a little shorter, but it was a great hat for him because it's a low, low crown. Not a huge brim, but it's got a little attitude, a little style. It's a little edgy and fashionable, but not overdone. It doesn't look like you're trying to look like some kind of sinister, you know, cowboy uh, hero guy. It's not dramatic in that way. It's just a touch of fashion, a touch of edginess. And it tends to just look good on so many people. Um, the silver belly is fantastic. I love a gambler because they're thick, they're hard, they're sturdy, they're easy to take care of. The brims don't go out of whack. They just seem to be some of the easiest hats to take care of. And everybody loves them. They're just so unique and simple. Um, you get the best reviews. And um, I would want a gambler now. I'll kind of talk myself into one awesome the royal flush we always have them felt seasons rolling around soon official felt season starts around mid-september i don't know if you guys know but um if you're looking for like open roads and strata liners and every single place you look now is sold out um that's not unusual basically the way the hat industry works is this um during the fall and stuff you know they're making their felts they're pumping them out and this and that during the summer the machines all get dusted off. They dust all the felt out of every single machine on the assembly line. You know, every stamp and whatever, every little machine has to get felt brushed out, brush, brush. And they switch gears and they start making straw hats. 
and the only thing coming out of the Hatco factory or all the hat factories pretty much globally are just straws because it's straw season and they can't make them at the same time. They can't make felts and straws at the same time. They gotta make one or the other. What they have to do sometimes is actually dust these machines out, clean them off so they can make black hats or white hats or silver belly. If they wanna make a white hat, a silver belly hat or something super light, they have to go down the whole line and brush every single machine with air, you know, and blow it out and brush it out and clean everything perfectly, very, very, very meticulously so that they could push those white hats out. Generally, silver belly and white hats come out at one bunch. They make them at one time. They clean the machines and then they start making the dark hats again. So, long story short, I know this is a super long story. Sorry, I go off on a lot of tangents. If you know me, that's like my thing. I'm like tangent guy. Um, you can't get felt hats when it's straw season. All we can get are straws. We want our felts. We want felts. We could sell thousands of felts now, but we can't get them. We really, really want them. We order them, and they're like, okay, cool, order's in. But it just doesn't come. Um, so in September, mid-September rolls around, they start coming in again. Uh, I'll tell you this. They generally are pretty late with all deliveries. So if they say mid-September, it can be mid-September. A lot of times it's late September. Um, it's sort of the way the hat business is. There's not much we can do except just pay our bills on time and hope that they treat us, uh, you know, as best that we can be treated. But um, there's nothing we can do to rush those open roads, you know, along unless they have something in stock in their warehouse, which is possible, but it's rare. You're going to see bad sizes, 55s, 56s. 62s, 61s, maybe, but all those middle sizes, 57, 58, 59, 60, all gone. They're gone. If you look at our website, I think we only have a few uh, black open roads. The other colors are all gone. But yeah, felt season's coming very, very soon. And um, we just ended a 25% off sale. I think there's 20% kind of running all you know, for the past six months, there's been something like that running. All all sales, COVID-related sales. So, yeah, you know, when when felt season does start pouring in, you know, all the new hats start pouring in, take advantage of it. You know, if we're doing 20%, 25% off everything now, you know, exploit us. Take advantage of us and get those cheap prices. Um, you're helping us because it's a slow time in the shop now and we're pretty much depending all on mail order which is why we're doing all the sales to kind of you know drum up the mail order and stuff and um, hopefully we generate a little revenue so that when the um, the felts come in we're okay you know so during this slow season we're, we're doing okay. When the felts pour in, we start doing very, very well in the store. We start selling them very quickly. But yeah, just the way you guys want felts, we want them too. We can't get them because they're out of season. Okay, overstated my case again, I know. Um, um, all right, so uh, I'm gonna talk about a few other things um, as far as some sets and models that we sell and some new things. Um, let's talk about let's talk about hats. Mm -mm. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, okay, a lot of wool felts. A lot of them. There were some you guys know these hats. The Bozeman, the Cromwell, um, the Gallatin, the the Gus the Gus. This is a crushable wool felt Gus. We sell this hat too. All of these hats are crushable wool felts. They're light felts. Um, you know, they're like, I don't know, 125 bucks or so. You could stick them in your pocket. They're made out of good light felt wool. A lot of them look the same. You know, the difference between like the Gallatin, the Bozeman, all these hats. Crom a lot of times it's just like different band or a slightly different crown shape, like a wide teardrop, a narrow teardrop, and a different band, but they're very similar. The only one that's a little different here is the Gus. 
got that high kind of a uh, 10 gallon hat kind of thing high in the back low in the front and then we have a hat called the Stowe, S-T-O-W-E, which is, you know, like a Cromwell or a, uh, I guess, like a Bozeman, but it has ear flaps on the inside. So, yeah, those are very, very similar. The Expedition, it has a little feather band, the guinea hen feathers stuck to the leather, you know that. That's the difference, but they're all pretty much the same, and they're all good. Uh, they're tough, they're inexpensive, great for rain. If you don't want to wear your two, three hundred dollars Stetson in the rain, buy one of those. They're, they're cheap and they're very durable. Uh, the Moab is another one that came in a light color. We ordered that one because it was the only one that came in that very light color. They're all the same though. Um, basically the same. Here's another one, the Sagebrush. This one had a chin strap and a little bit more western band. Again, same hat. They're all the same. They're light felt crushers. Just uh, variations of the same thing. The Santa Fe and the sagebrush there. Come on, what's the difference? Different band? Uh, three and a quarter inch, chin strap, crushable. Yeah, there's like no difference. It's the same hat. So, you know, if we don't have one, Let's get the other. They're really all the same hats. It's just like decorated with a different band or something. Well, I like the um, the wool felt stuff. I've always liked them. I'm not a huge lover of wool felt, but I like crushable wool felt, light felt, the soft stuff. Um, it's good. It's really good. Um, the Sturgis is another one. The Sturgis, it's exactly the same as the Bozeman and all those different hats. The Tahoe, the Wildwood. Um, these two have wires in the brim, so you could curl the brim up and do that, like, outlaw thing. That's cool, too, if you like that. The only thing is, once you have a wire in the brim, you can't roll these hats up into a cone and stick them in your pocket anymore. You know, like these ones. But all the other ones, you could roll them into a little cone, stick them in your pocket, or, you know, whatever. Uh, the good trick is that you go to the liquor store, you buy one of those bottles that come in a cardboard tube, you know, the wine or the liquor bottles. Use that cardboard tube capsule, roll your hat up into a cone, put it in the capsule so you could actually pack that in a suitcase. Uh, rollable crushable hats are meant to be rolled but not put in suitcases. Uh, they're meant to be put in a loose pocket or something like, you know, when you're traveling or dinner or something like that. Uh, Stetson hat racks. Okay, this is for retailers, it's not for you guys. All right, honey, it's time to hit the trail. I'm not going. You're not going? No, Arnie's coming to pick me up. Arnie? Yes, he's coming to pick me up. Oh, that's great. I hope you and Arnie have a good life together. Don't, don't, don't be like that. Let's, let's not let it end like this. Hmm. Yeah, here he comes. I see him coming in his Prius or whatever the hell he drives. His yellow sweater. Honey, I don't want to see you and Arnie get into a fight. Please, please just walk away. Yeah, walk away. We'll see. Anyway. <laughs> about the end. I'm going to uh, play a little guitar and um, and um, that's about it. Sorry. Somebody just walked in and distracted me. Kind of lost my train of thought. And um, that's about it. I'm going to just play you guys out and um, we will be watching the new arrival section on jjhatcenter.com if you go to www.jjhatcenter.com uh, our website is now starting to uh, blossom a little bit well uh, through march 
April, May, when uh, the COVID thing really was in, you know, huge, huge uh, panic mode. Um, there was nothing coming, but um, I'm going to say May, June, July, uh, all that time we've been getting shipments. Uh, we've got beautiful straws now from, uh, from Dobbs, from all different companies. There's a wonderful hat called the Irving that uh, I'm actually interested in getting. I like the colors a lot. And there's some interesting colors coming out in straws like, you know, turquoise and raspberry and things like that. So, um, watch the new arrival section. That's where you watch. And every time something new comes in, it goes right to the top of that section, new arrival. So if you're waiting for uh, whatever, open road, or waiting for this hat or that, that's where you do. You go to our website and you just check new arrivals. Also, I'd say, um, Check the Facebook page. Usually, usually if something cool comes in, like a, you know, a, a hat that we know you guys are waiting for, or something really neat, you know, and new, we'll stick it on Facebook just to show it to you. And I'll generally say something about it. Pardon me, but uh, recently, you know, I haven't been to work for for a few months. Uh, I'm home because of this uh, COVID uh, pandemic. Uh, tragedy and um, I'm a little bit of out, of out of touch with some of the new arrivals so uh, I'll be uh, monitoring it too you guys said watch that page and uh, you know if you're ordering and you're not you know you keep getting all out of stock it doesn't have my size that's where you look the new arrivals page you know the newer the hat the more stock we have you know if it came in the, this week we have everything if it came in two weeks ago we have almost everything you know if it came in months ago, we have less. So it's a good way to shop. And uh, take advantage of the sales. There's a lot of really good sales now. If, uh, you know, if you've been meaning to buy a hat and uh, you know, it's a little bit of beyond your, uh, your budget, um, now's the time to do it. And we just ended 25%. We've been doing a lot of 20%. So uh, watch, there'll be more sales coming. And, uh, let me play you guys out. Maybe I'll should I try this looper pedal again. Now let's try something else this time. Let's try. I'm gonna put on some reverb. Walrus audio reverb. I'm gonna put on my reverse. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.